Hello and welcome wherever you're watching from around the world. Liga FA action in store for you tonight as league leaders Barcelona take on a mid-table Tenerife here at La Palmera. This match sees both teams enter the second half of their respective league seasons. The hosts here in the Canary Islands have so far failed to hit the heights of their respectable fifth place finish last season, while the reigning champions, well, they are halfway to a second perfect season. 45 points on the board after 15 games, just four goals conceded in all that time. They have once again proved a class above in Liga FA. Well, there's much noise around La Palmera and there's been much noise surrounding the Barcelona camp of late. Some positive, some otherwise. New contracts have been handed out. Players' services have been secured for another few seasons. So here we go then. Match day 17 of Liga FA action. Granadilla Tenerife hosting FC Barcelona. A grey cloud given by the expulsion of the champions and the holders of the Copa de la Reina after the fielding of Jason Ferreira, ineligible for selection. That means there will be a new name on the trophy for the first time in four years. And of course, don't forget, there's still the UWCL quarter-final draw to come. Group D winners Barcelona are set to learn their group, their last eight opponents a week on Friday with two legs to come in late March as they look to go one better in 2023 having lost the Turin final against Lyon last time out almost kick off time here it's five minutes to six local time a long way from the Spanish mainland here in Santa Cruz this is Barcelona's longest trip of the season in fact the longest trip any team will have to make these sides met in the opening fixture it seems fitting that their 16th and their first return fixture of the season is the reverse. Extra stands have had to be opened here at Estadio Heliodoro. Such is the interest in the champions, champions for the last three seasons. Of course, there will be many in neutral who come to see one of the greatest teams in Europe, but Always pleasant to see so many sporting the colours of the home team, nevertheless. It's a warm and balmy evening. Feels a million miles away from the cold of mainland Europe. Crowds enjoying some canary and sunshine. Still the need for the winter ball, though. Will January come to a happy end for Barcelona? Record setting. The teams are all but ready. First, needs to wait for one of the other teams to clear the field. It's 50 up for Barcelona, and who can stop them? No professional club had ever racked up a half-century of consecutive league wins before the Asel Grana did so in midweek in their out of Levante Las Planas. Their ascent to a fourth straight title looks increasingly likely week on week, but can Tenerife hold their charge, at least temporarily, here in the Canary Islands? It's an unenviable task, but a bumper crowd has nevertheless filled in through the turnstiles here in San Isidro. The hosts have had to open further stands to accommodate all those who want a glimpse of the action. Involving, of course, the overwhelming Liga FA favourites. Not without reason either. Barca have racked up a cumulative goal difference of over 300 across their last two campaigns. They've already hit 63 goals this term. 
and their rush to what would be a fourth consecutive title shows little sign of faltering. Seven players keep their places from Tenerife's 2-1 win over Real Sociedad in the last round of games. The big news is, though, that there's no place for top scorer Yacina Blom. The Belgian has five for the season, but starts on the bench. That means Coco and Maria Jose will likely lead the line. In charge today, Arancha Gaiastegui. Important game for all three teams. And as for Barcelona, five changes for them from the win over Levante Las Planas. Sandra Panos returns in nets with Gemma Font dropping to the bench. There are also returns for Mapi Leon, Aitana Bonmati, Lucy Bronze, and Mariona Caldente. Jaser remains on the bench as he sat Oshuala's hat trick in midweek, securing her spot up front. Final pictures to be taken. Pat three, Gabira, captain of Granadilla Tenerife. Fallen some way short of their escapades last season. Current league position sees them lightly safe and set to feature again in Liga FA next season, but can't quite afford to rest on their laurels. Currently five points clear of the relegation zone. They played two games fewer than both Alhama and Alaves, who occupy the Red zone having lost again yesterday in action. Barcelona with a four point gap on Levante, having played two games fewer. They are 15 points clear of Atletico Madrid in fourth, who are chasing, perhaps in vain, the top three and qualification to next season's UEFA Women's Champions League. We're about to get underway here in the Canary Islands. Can Granadilla Tenerife cause one of the greatest upsets in Spanish women's football? Very few are holding their breath. Only two teams have come remotely close in the league to challenging Barcelona this season. Tenerife weren't too far away from that. They only lost 2 0 in the opening action of this season. Goals from Jaser and Carolina Graham Hansen. Levante and Atletico Madrid were both beaten by a single goal. Looks to be a 5-3-2 for the home side. Barcelona sporting a new train strip. Here's Mariana Caldente. Pina can't control, cleared by Marrero. Second wave from Barcelona. Options in the middle. Oshuala is one of them. There's the cross, Oshuala! A miss from improbable range. You don't see a miss to target often. The goal evading the Nigerian, who's got six in the last four games. It was put on a plate for her by Mariona Caldente. Early scare for the hosts. And here's the captain, Gabira. Coco Anke. Also back on top, Oshuala allows it to run for it. It's got close quarters. Nigeria International got the better of it. That one had to be mopped up by that three, Gabira. Skipper wasn't letting anything past. Managed to clear the right side of the corner flag too from a defensive perspective. Bronze with the throw. Towards Aitana Bonmati, but Coco's won it back. Maria Jose. Laughing to get a foot in, as was Alexandra Zaremba. The pole. Rolfer. Mariona. Kernogorcevic. A little too short for Bron to... Had to be industrial to keep that away from Maria Jose. 
Coco is in the centre if Maria Jose can reach her. She'll go to Pisco in the end. Lucy Bronze at close quarters. Still Maria Jose's ball, but she's losing a lot of ground. Here's Marrero. Thais Ferreira. Coco will chase this. Doesn't have the pace to match Mappy Leon. Centre back returning to the side. And a first touch after the return of Sandra Panios. Jose Herrera, head coach of Tenerife. Knows there's still work to be done this season. Any result today will be a result to remember. Fridolina Rolfo. Trades passes with Patry. Mappy Leon. That's going to run for Rolfo. Up against Clau Blanco. There's the dangerous cross in. Had to be dealt with by Noelia Ramos, and she did well to punch that away, the goalkeeper. Patrick to Bomati and back again. Here's Claudia Pina. 1 0. Only took Barcelona four and a half minutes. Clinical as ever. It could prove to be a long day for Noelia Ramos in goal for Tenerife. Pina exhibiting her class once again. The young forward found in space. Good build-up play by Patrick Guijarro and Aitana Bonmati, but it was all about the finish in the end. And a difficult task for Tenerife, has already got a whole lot tougher. Mapi Leon. Chip forward towards Coco Anke. Maria Jose is in the centre. This will be the perfect response. Still Coco. Mapi Leon does just enough, and Rufo is there to help out. Strong start from the away side. 64 goals this season now in just over 15 games. Conceded just four times in all that time. Napoli on forward. Rolfo. Options in the middle once again. Among the Moshwala and Bonmati, it's towards the Moshwala, it might run for Kenekorcevic off the post, there's the follow-up over the bar. Aitana Bonmati with the effort, couldn't keep it down. And the visitors could be three goals to the good already. High standards expected, and Jonathan Heraldes will be wondering how his side missed that. Off the frame of the goal from the Swiss international. And skewed over at close range by Aitana Bomati. Mapi Leon. Rulfo into Mariona. Pina was calling for it, wasn't needed in the end. Oshwala lurking in the centre again. Might run for Kerner Gorchevich. Great save goalkeeper. And that's unfortunate. You have to feel for Tenerife. It's going to go down as a Moreiro own goal. But Barcelona, so efficient. They're getting that ball right into the danger zone. It was an excellent save from Noelia Ramos in the first instance, but Andrea Moreiro. Putting it out of the way, it's been credited initially to Asisa Oshwala, she won't complain.
Well, it's difficult to see from that angle who got the final touch. Oh, it is Oshwalas. That's seven in five for the Nigeria international. Giving away Maria Jose. Ever so close to snapping that ball from Sandra Panos. Mapi Leon. Well, it was brilliant striker's instinct from a player who is on fire at the moment. Scored a hat trick in the 7 0 win over Levante Las Planas in midweek. Just keeping Jason Ferreira out the team. Forced the hand of the opposition. Rulfa from Mariona. Now Pina, scorer of the opener. More options in the middle. Oshwala's there again. Goalkeeper gets there. And it falls to Mario Jose. And Coco is cutting a lone figure. She's going to go for it herself. A lot to do from here, Coco Anke. In the end, it wasn't to be. Might not be too many chances like that for Tenerife today. They'll know that. As will this bumper crowd here at Estadio Eliodoro. Kerna Gorcevic stealing a run. She's got there ahead of Pisco, but the control might have let her down somewhat. Maria Jose. Always fighting against the tide with three yellow shirts on it. It will be interesting to see how Tenerife respond. They'll have known their chances were slim, but now have to avoid this becoming an inflated scoreline. Easier said than done against Barcelona. Mariona into rule for. It's going to fall for Itana Bomati. Goalkeeper needed two goals at holding it, but she got there in the end, Noelia Ramos. Been the busiest player on the field so far. Rule for a constant threat down the left. It didn't fall for Claudia Pina. It did fall. Paitana Bomati. This time she keeps it down. But it is straight at the goalkeeper. Bronze. Into Mapileon via Irene Paredes. Emilia Paredes, one of four players in the last two weeks to sign contract renewals. Announced by the club on Friday. Not only does it mean the 31-year-old remains a Colera until 2025, it also means just three players. Young Katakoi, the goalkeeper, and attackers Pina and Bruno Villamala are on deal still ending this summer. Negotiations pending. Here's Kunigorcevic. Oshwala! It's three. Race for Barcelona's number 20. She just cannot stop scoring at the moment. And a resigned look on the face of Noelia Ramos. She's not the first goalkeeper that Barcelona have threatened to run riot against this season in Liga FA, nor will she be the last. Oshuala. Reading the flight of the ball, anchored herself into the turf and had the accuracy on the header. Barcelona well into the groove. Tenerife must pick themselves up. Ended last season just six points off Europe. Finished on 50 poor points, but they've only managed 17 in the first half of their season to give you an idea of where they stand in relation to last year. Five points above the drop zone. Can't afford to get too comfortable. That's the position normally held by Anna Kunagorcevic, but only bronze there this time. Through the middle from Paredes and Bomati can't control. 
It's assured so far from Barcelona. And brilliant to see Aitana Bomati in action after injury setbacks. She was down to play the first game of the season, having been injured in pre-season, but left out of the squad with a thigh issue. Had a calf strain over the summer, a recurrence of an injury that disrupted her season last January. She was a key part of the Spain side at Euro 2022, played all but 12 minutes across Spain's four matches. Still only 25 this month. Wilfers cross, Oshuala's on a hat-trick, she was looking for it. Flag has gone up on the near side. Kona Gortrovic seems bemused. Champions not taking their feet off the gas. And perhaps Kona Gortrovic right to be bemused. Oshuala clearly onside between Marrero and Gabira. So hard to tell, of course, in live time. Assistant referee doesn't have the benefit of replays, but you can understand the frustration of the Barcelona winger. Mapi Leon, waved forward by Irene Perez. Here's Rulfo into Pina. That's been given as a Tenerife ball. Clau Blanco's throw. Can play in midfield, often on the right side of the fence, though. Versatile player. At three, Gabira. That was an awkward ball, and Oshwala was herring after it. Stopped in the end by Thais Ferreira. And there's just no way at the moment for Tenerife to play through the league leaders. Patrick showing a little of it to Coco, but moves it too quickly into Mapi Leon. Here's Paredes. Bomati out to Bronze. Here's Bomati again. Couldn't find a yellow shirt. Pisco might keep that in. Pass is short from Kuna Gorcevic. Maria Jose's ball. Free kick is the call. Assistant had the best seat in the house. Gihara wins the aerial battle. Oshwala with no one around it to go forward. Mapi Leon. Pina. Bomati calling for it. Ball lacking in accuracy in the end. Kokoanke was the target. Tenerife will have to make do with a throw in. Have managed to stem the flow of goals at the very least. One for Pina after five minutes. Since then, an Oshwala brace. Here's Pina again. Bomati. Turns away from Natalia Ramos. Patry. Paredes. Something for Bronze to run on to. Yeah. 
Here's Mapi Leon. That's how far forward Barcelona are pushing in search of a fourth. Brons into Bon Mati. 1 2 comes off. That's been kept in. Maria Jose with a chance to clear, and she does so with composure. Pisco's ball not into the path of Coco Anke. Penny for the thoughts of Jose Herrera right now in the home dugout. He's in the position that all 15 head coaches in Liga F8, other than Jonathan Heraldes, have been in so far this season. Crossing opportunity for Friedelina Rolfo up against their opposite number. Claude Blanco's presence just enough to stop the cross. Patry. Rolfo again. Mariona. Back to Patry. Omati might keep it in. Didn't quite hold up. Wondered if the flag might have been there. So convincing so far from Barcelona. That's an errant offside call. Natalia Bomati. Nowhere near the offside line. Header is missed by Natalia Ramos. Coco loses out in a battle with Irene Paredes. Here's one for Anakona Gorcevic. Up against Gabira, goes down. Well, it looked untidy. But Arantxa Gaia Stegi had a good view of it, waves it away. Maria Jose. Can't control. Lucy Bronze can. Rolfo into Mapileon. Paredes to Bonmati. Such a sight in possession, Barcelona. It really is a team effort. All ten outfield players involved. Here's Mariona. More danger. Rolfa gets the shot away. It's blocked. And a handball against her as she follows up. She too. Put pen to paper and sign a contract extension on Thursday. It was untidy. It's a decision you've seen given either way. Patrick Gabira on the right side of the referee in this instance. On the wrong side of the scoreline. 3 0 Barcelona lead. Bronze dancing away from Natalia Ramos. Here's Bon Mati. Rulfa had Mariona forward. Apileon will use it. Back to Rulfa. Don't forget Oshwala. Still on that hat trick. Plenty of time to get it. for battling, nearly comes off for it. Paolo wins it back in the end, but possession short-lived for Tenerife. Patrick into Rolfa. Mariona, Rolfa again. Paredes with time. Time to find Bronze. One-two with Bonmati. Bronze will go herself. Up against Pisco. This goes slide. Enough to put off the wing back. Barcelona feel, perhaps rightly, they've been on the wrong end of some decisions so far. There can be no complaint about the scoreline. Two for Oshwala, one for Pina.
That won't run for Lucy Brunt. Maria Jose has got that. Well, Mati doing enough to close down, though. The problem isn't winning possession for Tenerife, it's keeping it. Rulfa. That's Napi Leon. Pino wants it. Here's Patry. Mariona and Rulfa trading passes. Kurnodovic is going to go for it. Good hands from the goalkeeper. Had a little less to do as the half has worn on. 12 minutes have passed since Barcelona's third goal. Let's not speak too soon, though. And here's Mariona with the yellow boots. Options in the middle, she can find them. Almost squirmed its way through. Gabira gets it clear, but for how long? Helped on its way by Natalia Ramos. Bronze is there. Here's Mappy Leon. Rolfe. Oshwala calling for it. Cleared away by Moreira. Pressure won't stop from Barcelona. Mappy Leon. Rolfe. Mariona Caldente. In towards Bomati. Tried the acrobatic. Routine save for Noelia Ramos. And how much the ball will Coco Ange see in the remaining hour and five minutes? Time for Patrick. Mariona had to block out the Canary in Sky. Now here she goes. Clean pair of heels to the defender. Cuts it back. Great clearance off the line from Pina's effort. Tenerife hanging on. So much pace from Mariona Caldente. It was Pisco who got back. Denied a certain fourth. In the corner to come. Mariona's come short. Tenerife haven't reacted. Mapi Leon, left footed. But again, the chances are numerous for Barcelona. But the cutting edge has dropped since their third goal. Well worth playing. Questions have to be asked about the quickness of the defence's response. But Mapi Leon's shot, a steady stop for Noelia Ramos. Oshwala will chase. Charlotte's racing again. Oshwala in for the hat trick. Here she goes. It's a second hat trick in five days for Asi Sat Oshwala. And that one was laid on a plate for her. There is just no living with it, which will take presence like that all day long. Well, she was clearly in an offside position, but Thais Ferreira not looking over her shoulder. It was a very weak ball back from Cloud Blanco. Nothing Noelia Ramos could do. The damage already done. Schwala punishing as ever. How do you stop her? Is the question. But Jose Herrera will likely be tearing his hair out. And how simple it was made for the Nigeria international. 4 0 Barcelona lead.
Tenerife have to keep heads up. Still over an hour to go. Rolf has had it. Napi Leon. Eleven goals this week now for Barcelona. Plenty of time to add to that. Here's Rolf. Rolls the defender. Away from Claude Blanco with ease. Corner to come. What kind of delivery can we expect from Mappy Leon? A whole host of yellow clad options to aim for. Over all the heads in the end, not a best delivery. Over all the heads in the end, not a best delivery. Bronze Moffat. Runs his cross. Goalkeeper came and just about held on to it. Injury problem for Irene Paredes. Looked to be in the initial clash for the ball with Noelia Ramos. A sporting show. Goalkeeper wasn't letting anything get between her and the ball, and no visible infringement with the hands, but maybe the right knee is the problem. Onto the thigh. Just won't seem to run for Tenerife. Pisco. Here's Bomati. Rolfo. Pumped ball forward and Kona Gorchevich will chase, but there's confidence there from Noelia Ramos. Maya Jose with the turn and the twist, but it's not enough to beat bronze, even if it had. Got to pass Patrick. Patrice Ball. Shares with Bonmati. Roll foot into Mariona. Patry. Mappy Leon. Here's Friedlina Roll foot on the right foot. Just too much clearance in the end. Got right underneath it. And if one was to be critical, you could describe Barcelona's attacking output as wasteful, but you might also say you can afford to be wasteful. If you can still be four goals to the good after 33 minutes. Paredes seems to have recovered from her knock with Noelia Ramos. Forward towards Oshuala. Won't get there this time. Irene Paredes. Pina. Worth a go. No brace for her just yet.
Barcelona have twice managed 9-0 wins this season in the Cup and in the Champions League. Not to preempt anything and not to put fear unduly into the hearts of Tenerife supporters, but the Astelgrana were only 2-0 up at half-time against Osasuna in one of those. Mapi Leon. Patry. Found Pina through the gap. Mariana into roll for Bomati. Just wide, and it might have fooled some. That net not pegged down. A ripple, but it was the wrong side of the post. Mapi Leon. Forward to Patrick. Well, the 8-0 league win over Alaves is Barcelona's best Liga FA score this season. Did score 10 in November 2022 against Sevilla. Tenerife have managed to dull their visitors sparkle somewhat. Patrick wins a head up. Oshwala surely coming back from an offside this position and the decision made. Thirteen goals for the league season now. Oshwala. A rare bit of defending for Barcelona to do here. He's got fouled. The trailing leg from Anna Konogorcevic. First real action for Sandra Panos is to set up her defensive comrades. Chances may well be few and far between for the home side. Can they make it count? Howler's ball. One that they can attack as well, but Bronze got there first, and there was to be no touch from Moreiro or from anyone else. By margins. Peanut looked to be through. Mariona Caldente was herring down on goal, showing her pace, but she outwitted the cameraman, but couldn't outwit the goalkeeper. Maria Jose, that's a poor ball. Put Moreiro under all kinds of pressure from Mariona. Eerily similar to Barcelona's fourth, where as he sat, Oshwala was presented with the opportunities around the goalkeeper. An opportunity she gladly took. Patry loses out. Blanco's throw. Couple of fans heading for the exits, half time approaching. Mapi Leon. Paredes' ball. Close control by Mariona. Up against the Remba. Cross was a good one. Now Blanco tripping Friedlina Rofa. This is the chance that came straight in the back of the Tenerife free kick. Just a heavy touch from Mariona that allowed a second look at it for Noelia Ramos. Can Barcelona further stretch their lead then? It's a 
high line from Tenerife. Pina Dummies, it'll be Mappy Leon. Had a clear from Thais Pereira. Cloud Blanco helps on its way. Here's Coco. Only very briefly. Pina. Just spotted Rolf up. Mappy Leon. Oshwala wants it. Oshwala might get it. Has she beaten the flag? Answer is no. Perhaps too much ball, too much pace on the ball. Should I say from Mappy Leon anyway? Oh, she's onside as well. There have been a few mistaken calls from the assistant on this near side. Pisco down the line, but only bronze there. Bomati. Mappy Leon. Can't find Pina. Ball blocked off by Natalia Ramos. Clau Blanco can't control. Patry. She's fired that at Lucy Bronze, but the English players controlled it well. Patry again. Mariona. Clau Blanco standing her up. Roll foot. Paredes, now Kerna Gorcevic up against Maria Jose. Closing down by Natalia Ramos. The attack from Barcelona continues. Rolfo's turn, but blocked. Ramos. Thais Ferreira. Now Blanco, beginnings of an opportunity. Always going to be hard to find Coco with numerous yellow shirts around her. She's been an isolated figure in white in the Barcelona half, and those possession stats tell you everything you need to know. Opportunities to build anything few and far between for the hosts here in the Canary Islands. It might yet get worse. Hatchery's ball through the middle is blocked. Marrero with the interception. Might have to do so again. Here's Patry. Mariona forward to Pina. Mariona wants it back. Just got too close to each other. Close feet from Coco. There's always going to be a lot for her to do, but it has come through to Maria Jose. That pass is wanting. And even the briefest glimpses of a chance seem to be frittering away for Granadilla Tenerife. Mappy Leon. Do Barcelona have another in the tank before half time? Roll foot. Mappy Leon. Again with a slip. Coco unable to chase, and a familiar pattern might be about to start again. Patry. Here's Bronze. A fine performance put in by the drummer. Here at Estadio Eliodoro. Hasn't stopped through the 43 and a half minutes we've had either of Barcelona. Here's Oshwala. She's found the net again. Anxious glimpses to the flag and the look in her face tells you all you need to know. Looked in a suspicious amount of room. Let's have a look. And this time it's very, very close. Well, I don't think that replay is conclusive. Of course, it's any part of the body you can score with. There is a whisker in it either way. Certainly not conclusive proof to refute the assistant's decision. 
finest of margins. On the T4 to Pina. Mariona. Mappy Leon. Takes it around, Coco. Heredes. Ambitious ball for Mariona to chase. She'll get there. Doesn't have many options in the centre at the moment. Bypasses roll for. There's the ball in. Has it got a touch? Well, it's found its way in. Aitana Bomati is going to claim it. And she's offering it. Back to Patrick Guijarro, whose ball it was. Five before the break for Barcelona. No question of offside this time. Doesn't look to be a touch by Tana Bomati. Oh, well. Maybe she has got something on it. It was a brilliant ball by Patrick Guijarro. Doesn't seem that even she knows. She's been credited with it. It won't matter too much for Barcelona. They're five up at the break. Well, it didn't take them long to get going. And after a 7-0 demolition of Avante Las Planas in the week, Barcelona are continuing where they left off. There has been no stopping them in this first half. They bossed possession. They bossed the territory. The half-time scoreline, Granadilla Tenerife nil, Barcelona five. Tough times can even make you or break you. It was tough, but it made me. This was the moment that Anthony Joshua became a major star. I was just shouting at him, like, come on, let's fight, where are you running? Joshua's going for the finish. And this is the, uh, the passion of Dylan White. This is an absolute I thought there was going to be riots in the crowd, I really did. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Let's go back for the second time. One shot away from, from trouble or disaster at any point. You have to dig deep. And they're the type of fights that people remember for many years to come. And that's a lovely ball from Kim Little as well. And Mead and Fords! Brilliant Arsenal goal! The move finished off by Caitlin Ford. Couldn't miss from such close range. But that's a team goal, and the Gunners lead here against the European champions. And they could get a fifth here. It's Mead! They have got a fifth! <laughs> this is off the scale for Arsenal. They are beating the French and European champions by five goals to one. This is beyond the stuff of dreams. Canelo turning pro at the young age of 15. He was destined for great things. Oh! oh. oh. It's, it's all over. It's over. He knocked him out gold. Oh, no. oh nice shot. My boy Canelo, pound for pound, best fighter in the Thank world. You. Thank you. Canelo is the beast. He can box at range, he can box up close. I honestly believe nobody can beat Canelo Alvarez. The very best action from around the globe. From free running to Formula One and everything in between. This is the place to see exceptional athletes doing extraordinary things. Whether it's near impossible challenges or life-changing journeys of discovery, these are the innovators pushing the limits of possibility. Incredible moments, unforgettable stories, 
Welcome to the new home of Action Sport. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The You love the speed, you love the power. Landed by Pacquiao, look at that! What an incredible back. Floyd knows every trick of the That's trick. That's a great veteran skill by Bernard Hopkins. She's impressing me here. We respect each other's power, speed, and time. Terrific work from Amir Khan. One big night, you can turn your life around him. Alvarez, certainly the future of boxing. What a fight! How do you like it? How do you like it? The fight is over! And still, pound for pound, the best in the world. Well, there is a stunning outcome. An upset. A huge upset. Baby, I like you. Vancouver. No, you're from there. What the è la più grande città italiana per estensione? Roma. Chi è l'artista più ascoltato su Spotify? Justin Bieber. Qual è l'animale simbolo della Juventus? La zebra. Ok. <ride> è il pinguino questo. Is Spider-Man Marvel o DC Comics? Marvel. I know that one. What is the smallest country in the world? Oh, I need help. Small Call country. a friend. Bing, bing, bing. Go. How many countries are there in the UK? Four. <laughs> is it? What is the most consumed drink in the world? Tea. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Barcelona's quest to get to the final once again begins here and begins now. Across the face of goal, and that did not take long, did it? Barcelona take the lead, and we haven't even played 60 seconds. Goes for goal from distance. Oh, what a strike that is from Asisat Oshuala. There's a free header. There is a ninth goal. Barcelona sending out a message to the rest. They mean business in this year's Champions League. They got off to a, an awesome start in the first game. And here they are in Sweden tonight looking to back that up. Aitana, brilliant. Mario Nicodente is going for it. She is going for it. Oh, my word. Absolutely magnificent. And Barcelona, this winning machine, just keeps on going. forever be lit. It's big time boxing. The US debut for the man regarded by most to be the best heavyweight in the world. Anthony Joshua! AJ walked into MSG. Like a superhero walked in the building. And he's fighting a fighter named Andy Ruiz, who very few people have ever seen fight. Andy. Here's a guy who no one truly believed could win. Anthony Joshua standing next to Andy Ruiz. Who's winning that fight? Did I know about him? Truthfully, no. I think I've always been the underdog because when they see me, they're like, man, who's this short, chubby kid? I knew very little about Ruiz. This guy who looks like he just rolled in from the pub. I thought AJ was way too big, way too strong for him. Let's get ready to rumble! Dennis, welcome to the matchup. First of all, how are you doing? Really good, thank you. Yeah. Favorite movie? I love Christmas movies. I can watch them all year round. So probably like Home Alone or something. If there comes a new Christmas movie on Netflix, I watch it, even if it's a bad one. First CD. Beyonce all the time. It's always Beyonce. Anything with Beyonce. Oh. Pepperoni pizza or pineapple pizza? Pepperoni. Wow. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> really bad memory, I guess. Score in the 90th minute to win the Women's Champions League or captain your country. Score in the 90th minute to win the Champions League. 
I'm not really good. <laughs> hey, my name is Jensen Button and I'm racing in Nitro Rallycross with Excite Energy Racing in Group E and my number is 22. Raced for 17 years in Formula 1, uh, won the World Championship in 2009 and won 15 races, 50 podiums. That was the warm-up for the main event for Nitro Rallycross. The FC1X, built for these courses, for these tracks. There's so much power, it's, uh, it's pretty special because it's instant torque. I've wanted to race in rallycross for years. My dad was racing, my granddad used to race in autocross as well. And a lot of my friends who were good friends with my father uh, are pretty emotional about it as well, seeing, seeing me uh, follow in his footsteps. It was quite big. We both we were both in the car going, woohoo! <laughs> the tough times can even make you or break you. It was tough, but it made me. This was the moment that Anthony Joshua became a major star. I was just shouting at him, like, come on, let's fight, where are you running? Joshua's going for the finish! And this is the uh the passion of Dylan White. I thought there was going to be riots in the crowd, I really did. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. You're one shot away from, from trouble or disaster at any point. You have to dig deep. And they're the type of fights that people remember for many years to come. And that's a lovely ball from Kim Little as well. And Mead and Fords! Brilliant Arsenal goal. The move finished off by Caitlin Fords. Couldn't miss from such close range. But that's a team goal, and the Gunners lead here against the European champions. And they could get a fifth here. It's Mead! They have got a fifth! <laughs> this is off the scale for Arsenal. They are beating the French and European champions by five goals to one. This is beyond the stuff of dreams. Welcome back, second half to come from La Palmera. Barcelona fully in control of this one at the break. It's been a while since there's been any doubt of the outcome in this one. 51 consecutive league victories on the cards for the Asul Grana. Or the Amaria, as they are today. Difficult half for Granadilla Tenerife. Second hat-trick in a week from Asisat Oshuala has set the tone for this one. Tana Bonmati with a flick on from a wonderful Patrick Yaharo lofted ball. And it's Claudia Pina who got us underway. Rene Paredes not afraid to throw herself into the action too in a confrontation with Noelia Ramos that left her on the ground, but she's recovered. And other than that, it's been an almost perfect half for Barcelona.
raring to go again. Waiting for the host to come back out at Estadio Eliodoro. And what next for the home team? Can they keep themselves on the right end of a thumping Barcelona win? Well, the Canarian outfit will certainly feel rocked after the first half, but they ran Barcelona close in the opening match of the season. Just 2-0 in that one. Can they channel that spirit here in Santa Cruz after the interval? Double change in the offing for the host. See, gift Monday, ready to come on, and Maria Estea. First to come off, Coco Angé. Hasn't seen much of the action up front. Nigerian fills in up front. In the second change, although they've both been made at the same time, is Cloud Blanco to come off. So we're on the way for the second half then. What will it hold? Barcelona, five to the good, taking their tally for goals for the week to 12. And it will be all Granadilla, Tenerife can do to stem that flow and keep the scoreline in check. Here's Pina. And it wasn't that long ago that Granadilla, Tenerife actually got a win in the Liga FA fixture against Barcelona. You have to go back to May of 2019. Just a single Maria Perez goal in that game. Feels a long time ago now. Mappy Leon. Up against Monday for the first time. Morelis forward to Bombati. Runs into Kerna Gorcevic. The block is from Pisco. Seven points clear now, Barcelona, as it stands. Still with a game in hand on second place, Levante 2. Full eight points clear of Real Madrid, who have played one game fewer than they will have in 44 minutes' time. Not quite space for Mariona, taken away from it by Maria Estea. There is a corner for Barcelona behind there. And here's Mappy Leon. Feed delivery. Dealt with in the end. It was Irene Paredes' header that caused the problems. Bombati. Dropping back into defence to cover as Paredes gets forward. Here's Pina. Mariona. Patrick. Mappy Leon. Monday can't control. Next up for Barcelona. On Wednesday, the 1st of February, take on Valencia away at 7 p.m. Spanish time, that's 6 p.m. for UK viewers. Valencia anchored in seventh for Sting Stand. Tenerife at the back of this for the moment, sit 10th. Mapi Leon. Patri. Closing down came from Paula. 
Here's Bronze. Maria Jose keen to win that one back, and she's managed to win the throw as well. Well, this would have been a long way for Barcelona to come without a result. Not that that was expected, and indeed, close to 1,400 miles. That's longer by six miles than the Vante Las Planas have to travel from San Juan de Spi to the south of the main city. The longest trip, not only of the league season, but of all competitions, is actually longer than their trip to play Hus and Gord in the UEFA Women's Champions League in Malmö, Sweden. Longer by nearly 300 miles. Quirk of Spanish geography, here's Mapi Leon. Dangerous cross. Couldn't find Kona Gorcevic. Paola to Maria Jose. Foul by Oshuala. Vieira's ball, lost by Pisco. Kernogorcevic trading passes with Patry. Here's Paredes, now Mapi Leon. Mariana calling for it. And she'll receive. Can she stretch the defence? Got away past to stay up. Just a throw in she'll have to make do with. Sold the nutmeg all too easily. Here's Pina. Mapi Leon. Claudia Pina again. Too close to the goalkeeper. Straight down the throat of Rolfa. Now Patry. There was a run from Kona Gorcevic. Now one from Gift Monday, but Sandra Panos much closer to it. Patry. Possible offside here against Mariona Caldente. Confirmed on the far side. We'll be searching for a long time to find anyone who bet against the fourth straight title for Barcelona. And the battle for the top three indeed seems to be cooling off. Those, of course, the UEFA Women's Champions League qualification places. A late equaliser for Sevilla. Severely dented Atletico Madrid's hopes earlier on in the day. Oshuala might get on the end of this. If she got a touch, it was the faintest of them. Kony Gorcevic can't keep that ball alive. Noelia Ramos still pushing her team on. Actually wins the header. Awkward angle though, kept in by Kuna Gorcevic. Maria Jose on top of her. Paula. Away from Patrick, but not past Bronze. Mapi Leon. More space for Mariona Caldenti on the left side. Up against Zaremba. 
Reinforcements with Mapileon. Pina. Mariona again. Oshwala in the middle. So to roll for. Second chance for Mariona. Estea coming to make the block. Once again to Mapi Leon. Patri finding Mariona. Here's Rolfer. Couldn't control. Keen to atone for her mistake, the Swede. Up against the Polish Zaremba. Irene Paredes. Bronze. Patry. Mariona. Barcelona moving the ball fluidly. Pina. Patry. Bronzes again. One, two, and back to Aitana Bombati. Patrick, Mapileon. Touches of the ball coming as a premium now for Tenerife. Mariona can't find a way through. And again, straight back into Barcelona hands. No goals yet in the second half. That could change. Mariona again. Rolfe. Patry into Pina. Patry again. This is dangerous. That ball's going to stay in. Patry's cross. Kona Gorchevich went for it, but a soft header in the end. If Monday. Surely held by Mappy Leon. Referee. Either didn't see or was happy to let it go. The question was whether the Nigerian was going to reach the ball in the end. Playing the role that Koko Anhe played in the first half and having a similar problem in that finds herself very isolated. Kernogorcevic against Pisco. Pisco's hurt herself. Barcelona not obligated to stop though. Patry. Bronze does a sporting thing and plays that ball into touch so that Pisco can have the attention. The medical one that she needs. Painful one. For the wing back. Jonathan Heraldef about to ring the changes then. See Maria Perez ready to come on. So too Emma Ramirez. You can see the shorts of Nuria Rabano in the mix too. I think I can spot a fourth shirt getting ready on the side. Tempo has dropped, but Barcelona's advantage remains unthreatened for now. Mariana Caldente, can they extend it? Can Gorcevic might fall to a Schwala. Save warmly greeted for Noelia Ramos. She may have been beaten five times. There have been Plenty of saves in there too for the goalkeeper. Pina. Mariona. A ball towards bronze, it's Kurnikorcevic in the middle. 
Mariona Caldente about to join her. Bronzer's cross. Oh, could have got fit. We'll wonder how she's not scored. In similar fashion to Oshwala. Early on at 0-0 in the first half. A miss from an improbable angle and mightily close range. And now Natalia Ramos has pulled up. The events of the evening taking their toll on Granadilla Tenerife. She claims that Antonio Bonmati has caught her on the top of the ankle. May well have been the case looking at the replay. Well, Yassina Blom, the Belgian and top scorer for Tenerife this season, is going to come on. In place of Maria Jose, who's put a real shift in up front. Playing off. First Coco Anke, then give Monday. She can lead the field with her head held high. Can Blom upset the rhythm? So we've seen Patry or Schwala will also be coming off. Busy touchline at the moment. You haven't seen the third shirt yet. There is a Schwala. We know it's Maria Perez, Emma Ramirez, and Nuria Rabano coming on. There goes Ramirez. With it being Nuria Rabano coming on, I wonder if it might have been Lucy Bronze who's headed off off screen. We'll get that information to you shortly. Slightly wayward from Ramos. Maria Rabino's throw. Paredes. Well, there is Bronze. It isn't her who's come off. Mapileon, rare touch for Sandra Panos. The best goalkeeper is always staying alert. Mariana Caldente. And Friedlina Rolfert, and there we go. And the confirmation of the final third sub. Rabino couldn't get there in time. She'll be playing down that left-hand side by the looks of things. So that'll be Maria Perez into the centre of the park to replace Patrick. And into the attack goes Emma Ramirez. No need for Jason Ferreira, as of yet, such as the depth of Barcelona's squad. Still half an hour left to go, though. Nassita Oshwala's hat-trick means she's now two behind Alba Redondo, the Liga FA leading scorer. Avante Bayer has 15. Here's Aitana Bomati. Mariona. Napi Leon. Options are plenty going forward. Mariana Caldente opting to go for goal. That proved to be the wrong option. That header had to be won by Irene Paredes. Give Monday ready to peel away from it. Here's Paredes. No way out towards Nuria Rabano. Mariona. No, 
Maitana Bomati is pushed forward into a more attacking position. I wonder if that's a permanent rotation and just a position one for the moment. Either way, it's Marino Caldente. He just couldn't control in time and good positioning from Noelia Ramos in goal to close off the angle. And that scoreboard hasn't changed since half-time. That can only be seen as a positive result for Granadier Tenerife. Maria Rabinot's ball in towards Pina, dealt with by Andrea Marrero. Still vocal, Noelia Ramos offering the instructions out. Mapile on to take the corner. Corner dealt with by Patrick Gabira. Bronze ops to let that run. This is the final of four games in Liga FA today. We've discussed the 1-1 draw between Atleti and Sevilla. They are such enough. Mounting an unlikely charge for the top three with a 4-0 win over Huelva. Mapileon's cross. And the result came slightly earlier. 3-0 win for Valencia at Levante Las Planas. Brings Valencia up to seventh. Gift Monday wins it. Solid tracking back from Mariona Caldente. It's going to be another change. So Claire Faulkner, American, will come on into the midfield. To replace Paula, so it's a like for like switch. Tenth league game of the season for her. Yet to get on the score sheet. Much better second half from Tenerife, although Barcelona have lost a little of their threat. Bonmati. There are options there for Irene Paredes. Another one is Mapi Leon. Pina's calling for it and making a run. So to Emma Ramirez. She is the destination. That's going to be a free kick Faulkner's way. Possible offside against Gift Monday. Confirmed. In the past from her American teammate. Frustration just starting to show from the Nigerian. Not much to do for Arantia Gaia Stegi in the second half in the middle. Mapi Leon. More activity on the Barcelona bench. Forward from Mariona. He's into the feet of Kuna Gorcevic. Here's Paredes. Foul on Maria Perez. Don't forget, Champions League draw takes place a week on Friday. 1pm 
Central European time. That's 12 midday for our UK viewers. Barcelona continuing their quest for a fourth final in five seasons as one of the seeded group winners. But their list of potential opponents highlights the strength of the women's game across Europe at the moment. Holders and eight-time champions, Lyon, are a possible adversary. The French side having won 12 out of the last 13 Champions League quarterfinals. PSG, twice runners-up, could also meet them in the last dates. Along with first-timers, Roma. Castelgrana will play away first. Ties to come in the last two weeks of March. They can't face Bayern Munich, having already faced them in Group D. Awkward one for Mappi Leon to control, but she manages. And that possession balance hasn't changed from midway through the first half. And the goals may have stopped coming, but the pressure and the control have not. Here's Mariona. Going to do it herself. Now he uses Nuria Rabano. Pina attacking in the middle, so to Bomati. Just wide. Hung up from Aitana Bonmati. But the finish just the wrong side of Noelia Ramos' post. Game over for Pisco. Javiera Toro coming on in a place. Marta Torrejon, also replacing Irene Paredes. That's Mariana Caldente also going off. Takes the captain's arm, and Marta Torrejon. Rene Paredes replaced by Leia Cordina as we get the confirmation. Like for like again then. Well into the twilight of this game. Chilean Javiera Toro. May well take the position of Pisco on the left hand side of the defence. Monday sent tumbling by Bruns. Offside and an avoidable one against Alexandra Zaremba. She can't believe it. Nuria Rabano isn't hanging about to find out the result of the argument. Toro, first meaningful touch. Well, the result was certainly all but confirmed at half time. Few in the Granadilla Tenerife camp would have dreamed to have been able to keep the second half goalless for so long. Only scant consolation. But certainly not the most bruising win that Barcelona have dished out this season. Here's Mappi Leon. Moitana Bonmati.
Here's Konogorcevic. Back to Bomati. Napoli on forward. Bomati again. Rabinot up against the stay up. Disciplined performance in the second half from Tenerife. Barcelona still circling. Here's Aitana Bomati. Plenty of options in the middle. This day I got a touch. Still no way out though for the home side. Question is, will Mapileon change a shirt for a, or exchange a shirt for a uh, packet of biscuits? Natalia Ramos. Okay, after a knock, we can continue. It was a vibrant first half. It's not been a pulsating exhibition of. Second half football, but the job certainly done, and that's credit to Barcelona's potency in the first period. Haven't needed to reach the higher gears in this second period. Plenty more battles to be fought this year. And with the Copa del Arena now looking like a trophy option that's been taken away from them. Barcelona can focus on a return to Champions League glory. That's what they most covet. Here's another opportunity. And they find their first goal of the second half. Pina's ball. Goalkeeper always looked favourite for it. Noelia Ramos punches. Rabina. On the up into the path of Pina, but again, too close to the goalkeeper. Monday's ball, she's gone out to the left-hand side now to allow Yasina Blom to take up that forward position, but can't find the latter. Torrejon. Into Rabina. Here's Kurnagorcevic. Bomati swiftly closed down. It will be a Barcelona throw in. to Torrejon. Received it from Emma Ramirez, but couldn't do anything with it. Toro's throw. Gabriela back to the goalkeeper. Powerful header forward from Marta Torrejon again. There isn't the same fluidity about Barcelona in the second period. Mapi Leon. Bouncing ball. Evades. Bomati. Won by our opposite number, Ramos. Here's Toro. Ramirez blocking off, and that's enough to win the ball back for Barcelona. Bronze forward to Pina. Aitana Bomati. Clever touch. Couldn't quite find the finish at the end of it. It's a great save by Noelia Ramos. Clever touch to beat a stay up who was sold the dummy. Good save from the goalkeeper to keep it at five.
Mappy Leon will deliver again. Barcelona looking for their sixth. They stay their heads away. That's going to be too strong for Emma Ramirez. So Barcelona, 48 points from 16 games, just as they were last season. Then come Levante, 41 from 17, Real Madrid 40 from 15, that's the Champions League qualification spots. Then a big gap down to Atleti, 30 from 17. Madrid, Club de Football, 29 from 17. And Real Sociedad will need a great run if they're to improve on that. 25 from 16 and really make a push for that top three. And we'll take a lot for either of the Madrid clubs chasing Real Madrid to be able to usurp Las Blancas. Emma Ramirez into the middle. And Nagorjevic will chase under pressure from Estea, who had to time that well. Has she? Referee says yes. Can Nagorjevic says no. Certainly looked to play the ball first. The question asked by the Swiss international is whether she came from behind. It certainly looked round the side and to rub salt into the wounds, perhaps for Kunigorcevic, it is a goal kick. Mapi Leon. And credit has to be given to Granadier Tenerife. Might have been fearing a real onslaught earlier on. Barcelona were three up inside 12 minutes. Could have been more. Records have fallen in recent weeks. There seem to be 51 league wins in a row. That's unmatched in the professional game. Maria Ravano coming forward and again a stay of time in a challenge. Well, looks unlikely that Barcelona will reach the heights they've scaled this season in the Copa del Reina against Osasuna and in the Champions League against Benfica. Nine in those. Bomati forward to Pina. Pina with a turn, that's clever. There's the cross, but that's perhaps less sage. Eight to go. Little for Yasina Blom to have a go at yet. Six for the season. Monday. If we're not having that, bronze forward. Emma Ramirez, Kunigorcevic in the middle. In the end, that's straight to Natalia Ramos. Rafi Leon with the block, here's Blom. Laia Corina. Maria Pere. Pina. It's still Pina. She's got away from Thais Ferreira. Might have had a go. She's been cleaned out. The advantage has been played. Martha Torre Hon can't find a way through. The tackle was from Patrick Gabira. Pina back on her feet. Kerna Gorcevic. Rabino. Into the middle and goalwards from Pina, but into the goalkeeper's hands once again. And if there's one gripe for Jonathan Heraldes to take from the performance today, he may well have expected more goals.
Lá é Codina. Here's Nuria Rabinow. Flag stayed down. Finds the cross, but can't find Pina. Away by Moreiro. Codina forward again. It's a miscontrol from Bomati. So then forward. Blom frustrated, visibly. The Belgian cannot reach it. Here's Mappy Leon. Barcelona still going. Scoreline has remained unchanged since the interval. Marta Torrejon. Here's Bronze. Against Moreiro. Forced to go the long way around. Laia Codina's cross. Up towards Pina. And stay up. Since she's come on as midlife certainly difficult for Barcelona on the left-hand side. Not that Peanut was too troubled there. Here's Aitana Bomati. Stays upright. Clearance comes in. Barcelona. Well on top still, but have been frustrated at times in this second half, though. The press hasn't quite had the same might, nor has it needed to have. Nuria Rabina, space opening up towards Marta Torrejon. Nice to field it back in play. It was composed by Patrick Gabira. Close control by Monday. See more of the ball on that left hand side from when she was playing up front. Ron Stanson through the middle. That's lovely play, but she won't get there for the second ball. Quick reading of the game from Lucy Bronze, but quicker by Noelia Ramos. Here's Kerna Gorcevic. Hit two midweek against Levante Las Planas, couldn't turn provider there. Mappy Leon. And here's Pina. Oh, it wasn't far away. And some of the Tenerife players look absolutely out on their feet. Pina with the whip on the right foot, but not quite enough curl. One of the three remaining players on deals expiring this summer, Claudia Pina. Katakoi and Bruno Bilamala, the others. Recent weeks have seen Barcelona planning ahead. That's what the best teams do. Last week it was Ingrid Engen and Carolina Graham Hansen who penned extensions. Engen will be a Barcelona player, contract until 2025. Graham Hansen until the summer after. Here's Mappy Leon. That ball evades Perez. Here's Gift Monday. She's still going. Been waiting a long time for her time to shine. Stopped by Laia Cadena. Maybe a second bite to the cherry. She's still going, Gift Monday. She might feel hard done by. Overlooked for the free kick by Arantxa Gaia Stegi. The home fans are letting their thoughts be known. Barcelona not stopping for anyone, but a miscontrol by Atana Bon Mati. Blom will chase it. Should be beaten to it by Mappy Leon. can completely understand Barcelona's easing off in the second half. 
And a busy period for them. Theirs is the next match on the Liga FA calendar. In just three days' time, they travel to face Valencia. Keep ball over the top, Matatori Hon will chase it. We have two games on Wednesday. Barcelona away at Valencia at 7 p.m. local time. And then two hours later, Real Madrid hosting Real Sociedad. Before it's just resume the following weekend. Barcelona in Sunday action. Home to Real Betis. That's for Tenerife. A long trip north for them. They're all long trips north, but this one especially. We'll be heading to an athletic club. Midday on the Saturday local time. Here's Claudia Pina. Pina still going. Advantage played by the referee. Shot from Pina. Framing the goal. Noelia Ramos. Keen to hold on to that second half, clean sheet, if there is such a thing. Pina claiming that the goalkeeper got a touch. Goal kick is the call. Looks as if it went straight on to the woodwork. And Tenerife have made a good showing of themselves in the second half. Lesser teams might have crumbled under the pressure. Heads could have gone down after three goals in 12 minutes for the away side. Nassisa Oshwala sealing a second hat-trick in a matter of five days, right on the stroke of half-time, but they were unbowed. Tenerife, can they hold out for 45 seconds more in this second period? Here's Mapi Leon. One-two with Pina. Up towards Nuria Rabano. Back to the wall from the Canarian hosts. Pina, Mapileon. Final chance for Barcelona. There it is. Squeezed in by Lucy Bronze. Noelia Ramos sent a trailing hand after it, but there was little she could do. It's six for Barcelona. It's 13 goals for the week. They are a cut above in Liga FA this season as they were last. And for all Tenerife's resistance, it is Bronze who deals the final blow. And with that, the final whistle from Arancha Gayastegui. It's been a tough night for Noelia Ramos in goal. It's been a tough night for Granadilla Tenerife. Six goal saloon for Barcelona. Claudia Pina opening the scoring early on. Asisa Oshuala removed with her job done in the second half, wrapping up a first half hat trick. A second treble in a week. Barcelona have to look ahead. A crowded fixture schedule coming up. But still, getting the job done in style in the Canary Islands. The final score, Tenerife nil, Barcelona six.